How's it going guys? This week I'm going to be building these acoustic panels. If you want to see how this project is made, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show you. To get started on this project, I'm going to be using some scrap 3 quarter inch plywood that I have laying around my shop. I got a 2 foot by 4 foot sheet and then a couple pieces that are about a foot wide. And this should be plenty for four boards that I'm going to make. So I'm going to start by ripping all my pieces down to 2 and 3 quarters of an inch wide over on my table saw. So now I have all my plywood cut down to two and three quarter inch wide strips. What I wanna do next is go ahead and cut eight pieces down to 48 inches. And I actually don't have to do that because these pieces were already 48 inches to start out with. But what I do need to do is cut eight more pieces at 25 and a half inches. And you'll notice this is gonna be slightly oversized for the frame. That's because my foam pieces are 24 by 48 exactly. And I just don't really feel like cutting the foam down. So I'm just gonna oversize the frame a little bit. So I don't really mind that. So let's go ahead and cut these pieces down. So one thing I like to do when I'm making a lot of cuts at the same length is set up a stop block and this is going to allow me to bump my board up against it and then by the time it's going through the blade it's no longer going to be riding along the fence so it's a perfectly safe cut at the exact same size every time. With my 25 and a half inch boards cut down to size, the last thing I want to do is go ahead and cut four more boards at 24 inches. These are going to go on the inside of the frame and allow me to hang the panels flush against the wall. So now with all my boards cut down to size, I went ahead and set aside my 24 and 48 inch long pieces and I'm going to be drilling pocket hole screws in all these boards. So then from there I can go ahead and assemble the frame. Now if you don't have a pocket hole jig, don't worry, you can just use regular wood screws or you can use a brad nailer or something like that. There's plenty of ways to join it. So I'm going to go ahead and drill some pocket hole screws and then assemble the frame. Now before I assemble everything, I want to take my 24 inch long boards and just go ahead and route a 2 inch keyhole, roughly 16 inches on center. That's going to allow me to mount my boards flush against the wall and it's going to hit that center of the stud, hopefully in my house. And if not, I have 2 inches of wiggle room on each side to play with. So let's go ahead and route these keyholes. And now that I have all my pieces cut, drilled, and routered, I can go ahead and start assembling the frame. So now I have all four of my frames fully assembled and I went ahead and brought everything inside now because it'll be easier to wrap these frames on the ground rather than out there on my workbench where the frames are slightly oversized now. So let's go ahead and talk about the insulation and the fabric I picked out. For the fabric I went with a duck canvas fabric. This stuff is really nice feeling and uh, it seems like it's going to be really sturdy and last a long time. So I got black and white to match my setup. And then as for the insulation, I went ahead and went with the Owens Corning 703 fiberglass insulation. This stuff is uh, supposed to be some of the best insulation for making these acoustic panels. 
So let's go ahead and add the insulation inside and wrap these up in the fabric. So now I can go ahead and add my insulation piece to my frame and that looks like it fits really nice and snug. So I think I'm gonna do the fabric on the back side first and I already pre-cut some of these pieces just to be roughly the same size as the frame. And now I can tack this in place with the staple gun. So I only tacked this piece down in a few spots because I'm gonna add my other piece over it and go through both of them so I don't need to go crazy yet. But what I wanna do now is go ahead and trim off the excess. And I wanna lay down my front piece of fabric and then I can go ahead and set it back down on the floor. So I think the move is gonna be go ahead and fold over the long edges and just tack those in place and then I'll work on folding up the corners and doing the short sides. So I went ahead and tacked down the long edge on one side. Now what I like to do for the next side is go ahead and flip the panel up that way I can see the face of it and I can get a few started on this side and then I can lay it back down flat and I'll know that I won't have any uh, big wrinkles or anything like that in my fabric. Now when it comes to folding over the corner, you have a few different options. I think the best way to do it is just go ahead and pull it nice and tight so that way you have a nice clean straight edge. Now some people like to do it different ways, but personally I think this looks best. Don't forget to cut the slot out on each side so you can mount it on the wall. So now I have one out of four of my panels wrapped and I'm really happy with the way this one came out. The corners all came out nice and tight with that straight edge and then it's also really pulled tight along the face of it too so there's no wrinkles or anything. So now it's just a matter of repeating this process about three more times but I won't bore you guys with that so I'll skip to when they're all said and done. And just like that, I have all four of my panels wrapped. I did two in white and then two in black, and this will match my PC setup very nicely. So I'm not gonna be hanging these on the wall today because I do plan on moving out, and I don't wanna put a bunch of holes on my parents' walls when they uh, just don't need them there. So I will be saving these for my future house. As for this project, guys, that's a wrap. Hopefully you guys liked this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more woodworking videos almost every Tuesday. And don't forget, I have my website with all the details on every project I've made. So if you want more information about this project or any other projects, please go to woodworkingnut.com and check it all out. As always, guys, I'll see you next week with another project.